So you're a homeowner and you're thinking about getting a commercial walk-behind lawnmower for your property. Should you get a gear drive or a hydrostatic model? Well, if you don't feel like watching the whole video, here's my quick summary uh, of my beliefs. Uh, if you have a, f a completely flat property with z almost no hills, then the gear drive models are perfectly fine. They're a lot less expensive and they have fewer parts to maintain over the life of the mower. Everybody else should get a hydrostatic model. If you want to watch my explanation, stay with me. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a, another vlog, and this time it's a you know, property owner type landscaping uh, vlog. And we're talking about specifically um, two different John Deere uh, commercial walk behind mowers that we uh, um, owned. Uh, one that we have now and one that we returned. Um, and it basically boils down to should you get a gear drive model or a hydrostatic model. Um, the first one we picked up, uh, it was for budgetary reasons. It was uh, normally a $3,900 uh, mower we bought on a sale. I think we got it for like $3,100. Uh, and uh, after using it, I, I, did, I shot a whole video too explaining, explaining and it, just so you know, I'm a newbie when it comes to this commercial stuff. I'm not a landscaper. This isn't a professional uh, expertise video, but it's more like uh, let's share our, our notes because uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there also like me who was a first time owner of these commercial lawnmowers and, and wants to know how it feels to be in our shoes, not just, you know, look up some expert who thinks they know what they're talking about. This is first-hand experience and you know, I'm like kind of learning on the job. Anyway, we got this gear drive model, the WG36A, um, and it stands for, you know, walk behind, gear, 36 inches, and so on. And I guess, uh, I don't know what the A, A stands for, but um, after using it on our property, and we have a lot of hills on our property, and uh, we were extremely uh, remorseful for buying it because uh, a gear drive model has, basically has one motor in the back and with two, uh, I guess, gears and you use the handles to engage and disengage the belt that uh, attaches to the motor and that powers, powers the, the, the lawnmower. And you're basically just releasing power and it, the, gear, the belt slips and so on um, and that's how you steer it. And it, it's a real big pain in the neck because it seems like there, there wasn't as much control when you release the, the, the springs. Um, and if the belts get wet, it gets even harder to control. And we found that the, uh, this, the wheels would skid and tear up the turf and so on. And not ever using a hydro mallet, we were able to use this John Deere promise to return the, uh, the mower and get uh, the hydrostatic model. Now on paper, the hydro model, which is the WHP um, 36A, it's hydrostatic with a pistol grip. Um, and that means like this, instead of like this or like this. And we'll get into the, the grips at the end of the video because I think pistol grips are the way to go for everybody, I don't care. Uh, it, Maybe commercial landscapers who do it seven days a week or six days a week might be better off like this. I don't know, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So we got this uh, hydrostatic model, which on paper uh, list price was $2,500 more. Uh, but there was a tremendous sale and we ended up only getting it for about $1,400 more. I think we paid $4,500 for the hydro model. And there's four main differences between the gear model and the hydro model. What they have in common is the same Kawasaki engine, the same cutting deck, the same pistol grip handles, then um, the same, uh, I guess the front wheels on the gear model were a little bit wider apart and the, the front uh, caster wheels on the hydro model are closer together and I think that also helps prevent some scalping. But the rear wheels are a little bit uh, bigger on the hydro model. Uh, I, I don't think they're quite as wide, they're maybe half an inch uh, narrower. Uh, but the four ma besides the, the wheels, there's uh, other differences in the hydro model. Obviously, the hydrostatic transmission is two motors, one for each wheel. And uh, you also have two knobs uh, pushing the power for each motor. 
and it, that, that pre presents its own set of problems. Uh, the bigger wheels, and you have real reverse, three miles an hour in reverse. It has real power for reverse. The gear, gear model had no real reverse. It only had reverse assist, which means it gives it a little bit of power, like hardly any, and you have to literally pull the, the tractor, and that can be a huge problem for people. Uh, so for 2,500 bucks, you get, uh, well, in our case, 1,400, you get also electric start. The, the hills, mowing the hills um, on a, a gear drive model is a real pain in the neck. Although when you have both uh, gears in full power, both sides, I'm sorry, both belts, I guess, there's one motor powering it, so you don't really have any tracking issues uh, over straight land. It goes straight. Um, but any hill, no matter which mower you use, you go one degree either direction and then the mower will go towards gravity and you have to compensate. And that, that's where I run into, pro there, there's differences. I guess there's good and bad uh, for each. Um, this uh, John Deere Hydro model has two power levels, uh, one for each side. And that's, it's, you never get it even. It always will track one side or another, even on, I mean, you can almost get it straight uh, on straight uh, level ground. But it's a pain in the neck to get the power level, and then you have to tweak each side of the steering to make it go straight on the hill. So mowing on the hills, I don't think is easy for any commercial walk behind mower. You're gonna have to compensate for the hill one way or another. So, but the gear model was much harder to steer on the, on the hills and it definitely skid more often. It got off track way more often. I, I had more control. When I first used the Hydro, I was like, man, this is just as hard as the gear. But after using it a couple times, I'm very happy we went with the, the Hydro model because it definitely gives you better control. I mean, take a look at uh, me mowing this hill here on the Hydro. I mean, it's definitely not easy. It's not a pleasant task, let's put it that way. Mowing hills, especially with a fence in your way, I can't go up and down, really. I mean, I would probably go up and down if the fence wasn't there. It's definitely a challenge. If you have any hills on your property, I would highly recommend you get a hydro model. They also work better in, in wet turf. If you feel like rain, uh, mowing the lawn when it's still wet, you can do it uh, a lot easier with a hydro and have no slippage. So that's, that's basically it. I mean, I was going to go on and on and on and on, but uh, I, I'm still going on and on. But the hydro models are good for anybody that has hills. And I wanted to talk real quick about the, uh, the grips. The big trend in commercial mowers, as far as I can see, is they're going with these, these ergo grips where it's comfortable to drive all day. And it seems like, I mean, it seems like it's a, a comfortable way to drive, especially if you're landscaping and you're doing a lot of properties um, all day, many days a week. But I'm a fan of the pistol grip for many reasons. Number one, it gives you leverage when you're, when you're moving the tractor. It gives you leverage to use your body weight. You really can't put too much into it when you're, when you're holding a, one of those ergo grips. And uh, I think the main reason they're doing that ergo grips because if you look at how you hold a smartphone like this, it's the same thing. I think everybody's just used to that it's such a comforting feeling. I like the pistol grip and they say, you know, I guess you can hurt your, your wrist, but I don't think so because it, I think it's actually a, a arm strengthening uh, uh, pose. And I think over time, it, it doesn't really matter. I think the pistol grip is a, a much better option for anyone. 
uh, even commercial landscapers. So that's basically it. We're happy we went with the uh, Hydro and if you can afford it, I would recommend Hydros for most people. But again, like I said, the gear models are great if you have a large flat property and you want to have less parts to maintain over time. Because you have to change the oil in the Hydro and there's other things that can go wrong. And obviously the Hydro motors at some point will have to be replaced. So, I mean, everything has to be replaced, including the, the gears and spindles on the uh, gear driven model. But either way, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing that uh, you can't really mow hills uh, comfortably in, in, unless you get one of those dual wheeled, uh, what are those, uh, right mowers that you can literally drive on a 35 degree hill. I didn't measure the degrees on this hill. It's probably close to 40 degrees and it's, uh, it's just a challenge for a homeowner. So I hope this helped uh, and that's it. Have a good, good week.